Hey guys, welcome back to Ticket. So after the last uh, last episode's disaster, <laughs> I rebuilt and I made it a little bit different. Like that. That's much better, isn't it? Much, much better. It sort of didn't make sense for me to have the gate and then have a bar outside and stuff. Um, I sort of have a wall around the entry gate that just seemed a bit weird. So I just made this massive gate now. Uh, now this was a big hole in the ground uh, and as you might recall there was solar panels here uh, and I already told you in the last episode I wanted to change that because it is a bit weird bit random you know um, so instead of having the fountain here I made it here and it's exactly the same fountain it's just a bit higher and I've got two now I made these using polished stone um, slab corners so no uh, I should still these ones and uh, I've got some diamond blocks in there with, a, with one emerald and some glowstone. Uh, so that's that. What else did I do? Uh, yeah, so this is just marble. And apart from that, I also made this sort of uh, a bit more, a bit more um, texture to it. You know, a bit more dimension instead of just one dimensional. Uh, so I made that using these basalt brick slab corners. So I had a load of basalt brick still, so I just made them into slab corners, easy peasy. Uh, and I just made sort of um, one still uh, coming out all the time. So that looked like looks like this. And I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, you know, this looks cool. I like that. So, uh, oh, the solar panels. I moved the solar panels up here. Just because they seem to be out of the way. It uh, looks kind of cool. And they go down here all the way um, to my new um, blue electricity room. And these are just anti-covers, which I showed you how to make before. Um, just so it doesn't look weird, you know, from the side. And to save space as well. Uh, and the inside as well. So I just added uh, some cover slabs here as well. Uh, some corner slabs, sorry. Uh, just to give this a bit of depth as well. So let's go down. And this was all blown up, as you've seen. Um, I hear zombies, the rest of zombies. Anyways, so I, I remade this, it's exactly the same, nothing changed. Um, this really didn't blow up much actually, this was pretty good still. Um, oh, I should probably fix this at some point. <laughs> it's a bit ugly, isn't it? Um, do I have any? Yeah, I do have one of some of these. That's better. Now, before... Uh, my blue electricity room was behind here. Let me just make sure this is in normal mode. Uh, and, but I emptied it out because I've got these fountains a lot uh, on here now. So I don't want to use this anymore. Uh, at, at the moment anyways. Oh, these are... I need normal basalt bricks. Cool. So now I made the blue electricity room on this side. And it also makes more sense because the solar panels are sort of above here. And it makes more sense to have the, the um, energy room or the power room in the middle here. Because all the rest of the factory is that way. Um, so that makes more sense. So all these are nicely filling up, you know, because I've got loads of solar panels. And I've got more in my chest still. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we'll go. What else? I think that's all. Um, I remade my wireless transmitter and receiver that I lost because I um, reformatted my computer. Uh, and I, so I remade those and I remade a remote as well. Uh, so now let's get started on uh, on making this wireless, you know. So all you do, instead of having a button here or something, just get a receiver up and that should connect. Why doesn't it connect? It's a bit weird. Put it there just to be safe, but it's a bit weird. That, uh, that connected before for me, but uh, uh, frequency 1 is fine. Oh, eh, I'm stuck. And then we have to... Ah, oh, okay. Yep, so frequency 1. So, I'm very scared with all these noises, but... Uh, my remote is already set to 1, I think. Yes, 1. So, if I right-click this, supposedly... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. How cool does that look? I like it. Looks good, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. 
So that all works properly now. Uh, now instead of the remote, I also want to have a button. So, really? Let's sleep. Maybe the rain will stop as well. I should probably make a bedroom as well. In the dark, in the rain, it's not really pleasant sleeping outside. <laughs> Uh, oh god, that didn't fix anything. There's so many mobs everywhere. Come here. Let me at least kill them. Because I'm scared. Hello. There we go. Oh god, there's more of them. Uh, cool. So we just killed these skeletons as well, just in case. Ow. The water might pre Oh! Another thing I, I did, which I should show you. I fixed the water, finally. Oh, it was such a pain. But I fixed it off camera because it just took ages. <laughs> so, oh. No. That was fixed. What are you doing? I'm going to fix it again. I'm going to fix it again. Uh, bucket. Oh, cool, but it, never mind. I'll fix it again off screen sometime. Ugh. What a pain. Uh, yeah, so a button to open this one. Um, so where should a button be? I do have some gold blocks that I made already because I thought it would be nice. I thought it would look good. Um, so preferably I'd have it somewhere on the road here because I also want to add some structure to this road. I think it's too big at the moment. Uh, so what I might do is put more marble down this way maybe. I'll have to see. I'm not sure yet. Uh, okay. Where, where should we put this? So I could either I could either do a single block like that with a button on it, uh, which is a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Uh, or I could go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think what would be nicer because the door is. Um, it has an ev even number, so it's 12, so I can't put it in the middle because the button is only one, of course. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to put it to the side somewhere. I think I'll look the best, but I'm not sure where yet because it needs to be accessible, you know. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Maybe... We could make two buttons as well, like one on this side, one on that side. It's not a bad idea, maybe. These zombies are making me freak out. Where are they? Are they in here? No. That's what you get for covering up all the holes you make. <laughs> with just one layer of dirt. I think there's holes everywhere here. Uh, but anyways. Uh... You know what? We're just going to put it... Uh, hmm. I don't want to redo it because it's a bit of a pain. I tested it earlier to just make sure it worked. Um, it's a bit of a pain to set up, to be honest. So. How about here? Or here? A bit more back, maybe. Yeah, because I'll, I think I'll block this part off so you can't come from there. You're going to have to come from this side. Um, just there for now. Just there. So I have a button as well. i got all my mats ready already, so that, that's a lot easier. Now, um, what is that? Uh, why is that close down here? It's a bit random. <laughs> That's okay though. Uh, cool. So, wireless. Put that on the bottom so that gets power. And then we'll put it down like that. Uh, now, one thing I, I do want to mention is that if you put a transmitter here. and Because I tested this, I know. Uh, you put this on one as well. So, now you would think if you press the button that that should open. But it actually doesn't work that way. Oh, it does now, of course. <laughs> of course it does. Of course it does. Oh wow, it works perfectly now. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the problem I had before was that it seemed like when I pressed a button, it would power this too long. So the door would actually open and close straight away. 
Uh, so it would go like one in, straight away out again, and it would stop. And then you press it again, it goes one in, one out, stop. Um, so what I had to do was actually I made a pulse former and a repeater <laughs> to make the pulse of the um, button shorter. Uh, but apparently I don't need to do that. Does that work? That seems to work perfectly. Okay. Cool. I'm happy. So, what we're going to do eventually is um, make a computer here. And you'll have to enter a passcode or something or a pin number. Um, something like that. I think that'll look pretty cool as well. So, that's the door. Uh, what now? <coughs> well, let's see. We've got enough blue electricity for red power because we can add more solar panels here. Do I have them on me? No. Anyways, I'll, I might do that later. Um, so, we have that. So, that power room is sort of about here, probably. So, all the sorting machines can get off get power off of that um, but then we need industrial craft power here as well so I've got a lot of solar panels there but yeah actually solar panels are still the best way to go I but I do also want to build a nuclear reactor somewhere hmm oh another weird thing I've noticed I don't have any fuel well I have this now but I didn't before I can chuck it and my ring works. It's a bit weird. I don't need redstone anymore to fly. It's a bit strange. I don't know why. I haven't updated tech or anything. So if you know, let me know as well. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Um, mm, okay, what should we do? How should we start this? You know, it's a massive factory. Um, okay, let's start by getting our basalt bricks out because that's going to be the walls and we can start by making a place where we're going to do all the the final preparations not the final preparation this is going to be the place where every single chest is going to be so we're going to have row upon row upon row upon row of chests um, with pretty much every single item in the game. That's that's the plan. That's the major plan. And then we'll have... Uh, get out. And then we'll have... Oh, different levels, uh, different floors. So what I was thinking, maybe... Oh, that might be a bit too big, actually. <laughs> eh, why not? That's fine. So I was thinking, this would be the major entrance. Um, this whole part of the building will be this height. And then this part of the building, which will be the processing facility or the even the manufacturing facility, I would say, um, that part would get much higher because we need more levels to make everything. Um, so that part could be maybe even like even like that, you know, or even maybe a bit higher. So it would be two levels like that. Sort of like that. Uh, so this would be first level, this would be second level, and this will be the roof. That's the plan. Uh, okay. And I also came up with an in with a. I don't know. It's probably been done for before, but uh, I came up with a cool idea, and I actually want to show you how how I want to do that. And whilst we do that, I do want to ask you a question. So. Many of this stuff uh, that you see here, and also before, I've always done it off camera because, um, and I just want to sort of know your opinion on it. Would you rather me doing it on camera? Um, the main reason I do it off camera is because, for example, that sort of entrance took me about five hours. Um, and that's just because I, I watch other stuff. Like today, I was watching the um, GSL, the StarCraft 2 League. Oh, that was loud. Uh, I was watching the StarCraft 2 League, um, and in between I was just um, making all these um, decorations and stuff. It looks pretty cool for me, actually. <laughs> um, so that's the reason I do it off-camera, just because it would take up so many episodes. And I could do it in sort of um, fast-forwarding, but, eh, you know, 
Um, but anyways, let me know what, what you think about that. Uh, cool, so we have... Uh, I need to see what I need. I also made this into a crystal chest instead of a normal chest. That seemed like a much better idea. Uh, I'm getting more and more red matter. <laughs> Good stuff, I like that. Uh, okay, I'm not going to need any of this stuff, so I just want to empty my inventory a little bit. Okay. Uh, that'll do. An arrow? No. Chuck the arrow in there, please. Cool. Uh, so we need a receiver. Uh, sorry, a retriever. Which I don't think I have any. Sort it. Oh. Chromatron. Filter. How is this? How is it filtered this? That's a bit weird. Uh, I have filters though, um, but I don't have any retrievers. Why is these filters not stacking? That's weird. Uh, I've got relays. For some reason I still have macerators. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I have retrievers. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's make one. Retriever. Retriever later? What is that? Never seen it. Okay, retriever. We need ender per uh oh. Hope I didn't use them all. Brass, leather, or oh, leather. Do I have leather somewhere? I've got ender pearl. Uh, now we just need one one receiver. So oh that'll do. Put that back. It was it was two, wasn't it? Two pills? Yep. Some brass. Uh how many? Two. A blue alloy ingot, which I've got. A filter. Where's the filter? Uh, there. God, it's loud, isn't it? I hate rain. Stop. I wonder if the item is still in... I know there was a, an item in Tekkit before where you, you could stop the rain, but I'm not sure if that was... I think that was part of the forestry mod, actually, so... Uh, now, let's also take some solar panels and a battery box just to be able to power all this uh, this funny stuff. And we'll need a... Hmm, a chest? No. Yeah, a chest. Just, uh, just to test it. Um, what else do we need? So we've got solar panel, battery box for power, other oh, retrieves itself, duh, leather, and iron. Do I have iron? One. Should really keep some more. Keep a couple of stacks. I needed two, I think, only. Um. A letter, 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 letter. Please have some letter. Nope. Okay, we go to find a cow. Cowie, come on. Oh, there we go. Easy. Can I have some letter? Thank you. Hello. Cool. Uh, so let's make a retriever. We should have everything for that. Oh, we've got iron here as well. That's nice. Uh, two iron, blue alloy ingot, a filter, two ender pearls, brass, and leather. Leather. Nice. Retriever. Cool. Uh, now, what else do we need? We need a. We need some piping. Uh, redstone piping, please. Do I have any? Yep, yeah, no, wait, that, that's it, cool. And some, oh, let's take some jacket wires and some normal red alloy, which I still have. Cool, I think we will be set. Uh, yep, that's all. Uh, and, and, oh, and a button, a button. Do we have, a, do we have two stone? 
Can I actually make a leaf? Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just make another stone. Doink. Why is that not? Cool. Let's make a button. And I'll just show you quickly what I'm what I'm looking to do. But it's a bit rainy outside. Can I go in inside somewhere? <laughs> Oh, we need an automatic crafting table, and we haven't, I haven't shown you this before, so auto. Uh, no, I'm not sure which, which one is, I'm guessing this one is faster or something. Probably. So we need some gold, a chest, a crafting table, and some wood. That's easy. Uh, oh, all my gold is in the other one, so I'll just get a golden block. Boink. Uh, some wood. Oh, wood, what was that? That's a bit messed up. Anyways, uh, wood, wood, wood. Oh, come on. Really? Well, there's an extra chest. That's, that's nice. There's a crafting table. That's nice. Where's my wood? There. Nice. I have some wood. Phew. Saved. Uh, how do you make that again? Oh, filter. Give me a filter. I made so many, because that's why I usually make so many of everything. <laughs> it's just because it's easier to have it. Uh, okay, crafting bench, some wood, some gold, and a chest. Automatic crafting table, oh yeah. Cool, so, uh, let's just, um, hello. Oh god, there's creepers here, that's bad news. Should make some lighting in here. Maybe some nice um, lamp posts. Might do that next episode. Cool. Should we do it in here? It's a bit small. Can't really explain what I want to do. But then again, we do have power here, which is nice. Okay, let's do it here. So, crafting bench. Um, I'm actually not sure how this works. So, um,. I haven't used this one before, but I'm, I'm guessing this is the inventory. This is what you want to make, and it makes it into that. Uh, okay, so let's we let's say we want it to make. Well, sticks, can't make sticks. I've used this one, but what does that use? Does it need a? No. <laughs> trying to figure out what it uh, uh, okay well, let's try this then oh, it needs a chest next to it no I don't think so I do not think so button Oh yeah, there we go. We made four sticks. Oh, oh. It's a bit buggy though. Actually, it's incredibly buggy. Um, that is some weird stuff. So, whoa. Okay. So how does that work? And how does that make four of them? That should make two of them. Okay. Press it. It doesn't make more. I think anytime you take this out, it makes more of it. So, like, it, it always makes... Well, now it doesn't. That is some... What? That is not working properly. <laughs> okay, um, what we just might do is uh, uh, make this one, uh, which is easy to make. Oh, it's bugging out completely, this thing. One, two, two, three, four. Is that four? I think I can duplicate items with this. That's just silly. Uh, one, two, three, four as a crafting bench. 
No, don't want to make me a scrap. Oh, there we go. I think this row is a different color, actually. That might be... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, I've got... It's uh, weird. Cool, so we got one of these now. Let's see how that... Um, this one is the one I'm, I'm used to. Um, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, whoops. Let's fix that. Yeah, if I can't... Oh god, that's the wrong one. If I can't get this to work now, I'll, I'll have to sort it out properly. It might be my server that's being a bit weird as well. That happens. That happens. Uh, so, as far as I'm aware, this... I need to make another chest. Dang it. Oh. So, we do that. Now... As far as I'm aware, if you put a... God, I haven't done this in ages. A recipe in there and you put stuff in here. How did I use the power this? I mean, st start it. Uh, oh God, I'm so terrible at this. Hmm. I used to have a chest here, and this would pull items from that chest. It's two wood. Doesn't need to be powered. Hmm. I can try to give it a jolt and see what happens. That didn't do anything. Hmm. Anyways, uh, I can still show you the idea. That's probably a better idea. <laughs> uh, chuck that down there. Chuck that. Uh, I need that. Uh, and I'll just show you the the idea that I have, and then you know you'll you get that idea, and then I'll figure that out later. Um, so, say I have my automatic crafting bench here. And say I want to have it make sticks. Um, then I would have my retriever, for example, here. Um, this thing would be connected to the main sorting line. So every single machine in the whole building is going to be connected to the same piping. Exactly the same piping. Now in here, I would put, for example, uh, two sticks. Like that. So two. And I would, I would give it power. And I would have a button. Uh, this should not be powered, by the way. Not redstone tubes. Uh, then I would have a button in my main sorting facility, say here. And this would say, this would have a chest under it. Like this. And it would say, um, there would be a sign somewhere saying, um, sticks. So what you would do, press the button. And this would send a signal to this retriever to get two wood, it would make it into sticks, would put it in a chest. No, it would not put it in a chest. <laughs> it would um, it would be sucked up by a, probably a, hmm, let me see. Uh, probably a relay would be here. And that would go back into the same piping system as this. And the sorting machine would then see the sticks and chuck it in here. And then my idea is to have also a chest here, for example, with low voltage solar solar arrays, click. And then it would make low voltage solar arrays and make them in here. So that every single item, or at least most items in the game would have a button like that. Um, and I don't want to do it with computer craft, I think. I think I would just want to do it manually like that. I think that's going to be a freaking amazing thing to make. Um, so, the main problem is going to be, say for example, I want to make, um, well, I don't know, say I want to make, let's get this out just to show you, say I want to make wooden cogs, so first I would need to get four sticks, and then I would have to make, 
um, a wooden cog, like that, a wooden gear, same thing. So if I would press the button here saying wooden gear, click, then it would have to make four sticks first, and then send those four sticks to um, to the another automatic crafting table, which would make the wooden gears. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome, I think. Uh, actually, I know how this works now. I'm a dumbass. Um, you need a redstone engine with a pipe here, a wooden pipe. And anytime it pulls out one item, it, it gets it from a chest here. Uh, so that's how it works. Easy peasy. I remember again. I did this... Um, I haven't played with automatic crafting tables for ages. I think the last time I did that was um, on a multiplayer server somewhere. And I can't even remember which server that was. So it's been at least a year or so. <laughs> so that's my idea. That's the way it's going to work. So pretty much on top here, in this big area here, it's going to be literally, I'll make a a hundred crystal chests or something and I'll be crystal chest, crystal chest, crystal chest, 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 chest all over the place um, probably alphabetical or something silly like that you know so you can easily find it back um, like a library if you will so there'll be a wall in the middle here somewhere um, because it's always raining isn't it there'll be a wall here for example so that we can put um, chest on this side and on this side and then on this would be a sign saying A, B, this way, C, D, this way. <laughs> uh, just like a library. I think that would be pretty amazing, to be honest. And then we can just make every single item in the game by just pressing a button. So, uh, that's sort of the main idea. I think uh, before next episode, what I'll do is I'll just finish this area off so I don't have to work in the rain all day, because that's kind of annoying. So I'll just uh, I'll just make this basalt, pretty much, that's all. Um... And then we get started, and I think the way we're going to do that is just by going A, <laughs> uh, and find, oh, I might actually do it a different way, and find all items starting with an A, <laughs> and yeah, just make a chest for it, a button for it, and then we'll have to separate a room for it somewhere, depending on how hard the item is to make. Um... And then we'll go from there, you know, and I'll probably show you a couple of them, not all of them, because there's going to be like 200 of them, so <laughs> that's going to take a while. Uh, so that's the main plan, guys. Um, I think that's going to be awesome. Let me know as well if, if you like that. Uh, and again, let me know if you would like to see more of this sort of stuff. Um, I would imagine that it's kind of boring to watch. Um, uh, yeah, but um, let me know, you know, if you want to see me fiddling around with a fountain like this for a whole episode let me know because now i can do that you know <laughs> that's what i do anyways i just have to record it then um so yeah i'll see you guys next time